filming? You tell them how filming? You're a good boy. Hey, we're in our new space, and some of you knew that um, Milo wasn't feeling well, but he's better. He even jumped up on this chair all by himself. So um, he's good, and we are really excited to start filming chipmunks. Um, so let me see. Let me get Milo out of the way. Once all right, so we're going to work from... Um, the chipmunk supply pack and I made some hey hey uh you you said you need to get Milo out of the way yeah you were just curled up and cozy so I thought I would just scoot you out of the way nope no nope. you want to be a part of this yes absolutely um I had three chipmunks I know I made three chipmunks because in preparation for this video and you can only seem to find two? I can only find two. Huh. Um, but we're just going to forge ahead because... A, a mirror would help your situation. Is, do I have something on my face? Well... Is my hair okay? Your, your hair's fine, mostly. Do I have a stain on my shirt? I get a lot of stain. <laughs> stains on my shirt. No, but you might... I'm sorry, I just spit on you. <laughs> that, that's okay. Uh, my fur can use that. So, you just... Might want to, yeah, check your hair a little bit. Oh. Oh! <laughs> little stinker. Oh. He's, the, he's the feisty one, this one. Oh. Well, he's, he's got a little spike going on. <laughs> wild hair, wild critters. Alright. So we're going to um, use our uh, chipmunk supply pack. And we're going to use our over-the-shoulder... Um, camera holder yeah. <laughs> so that everyone can see really clearly. Um, this is not, I wouldn't categorize it as a beginner project because, um, well, a couple of reasons. I'm going to, I'm going to go through some techniques that I do in more detail in previous videos, like the tiny toes, um, which is its own instructional video as well as in the mouse video. And then there's also some color blending um, and markings. It's just a little more complicated than your average little critter. So, um, hopefully you have done something before, um, or have done some needle felting before or one of our videos, and then you'll be in good shape to follow this project. I'm not going to go in as much detail on some of the things that I've done a lot in previous videos. Do you have anything to add before we change camera angles? Well, there is a serious lack of chipmunk jokes in the world. Oh. So I'm going more intellectual and less slapstick, and I'm going with chipmunk facts. So okay. So be ready to learn. Okay. Do you want to do you want to tell us some interesting fact right now? Yes, it's quiz time. Okay. Do you know? What a group of chipmunks is called? It's called a lot. Well, it could be a lot. <laughs> it could be a problem, an infestation. Um, no, it's called a scurry. A scurry of chipmunks. Yes. We want to come up with a name for a group or gathering of needle felters. Well, Think that's that could be something. <laughs> Think about that. Okay. Okay. Oh, a scurry. That's appropriate. I like that. Yes. Good. Back one. There you go. Very good. All right. We should um, get to it. Yep. Oh. Okay. Okay. We're going to work from our supply pack, which I maybe should have opened on big angle, but I'm um, just going to go ahead and pull everything out. This is our core with a lot of um, accent colors, but the first thing that we need are our wires. And they may be gently rolled up like this, but you just unroll them. And then, 
This one we need to cut in half. Half of this wire is going to be um, one of each, each hand. So scissors do that easily. And then find your short wire of the two. And that's going to be um, the head, neck, and forearms. And then the longer wire is going to be the back and hind legs. I'm only doing toes on the front. If you have um, more 26 gauge wire and want to do toes on the back, just make this foot a little shorter um, and then you can add the toes on there too. But we're not going to do that in this video. Um, so just like all the other projects that we've done with an armature, you find the center and fold this pretty sharply. This is going to be his little nose and wrap your wire together about three inches, just gently. You don't have to do it too tightly. So that's about, these are two inches each. Um, so that's about three inches. Maybe that's a little long. Let's see. And then I like to bend a little bit of a um, candy cane or cane shape for the um, head just to start to get some of the, the roundness of the forehead and the remainder will be his neck. And then we're going to find the center of the second wire. Can you see okay? Yep. And then this goes um, on at the base of the neck and then we twist the long and the short wire together two full times. So that's one time and that's two times. And like I said, I go over this um, a lot in previous videos. So I'm not going to, we have a lot to do, so I'm not going to go into as much detail on the armature. Um, now bring the two wires together and we want this to be about four inches from the base of the neck until um, where you stop twisting. So about there from the base of the neck to there. I'm just going to go around one more time. And that's going to be his little body. And then we get to bend the legs. So do a forward bend for his knee and a backward bend for the back of his foot, like so. And I, I usually kind of turn him in this direction and make a heart shape to check my, my lengths and make sure that um, each side is similar. That's just a good way to see it. And then the front legs, he gets a little elbow about uh, three quarters of an inch down. And then we're gonna bend the wire to create sort of the palm, this part of his hand. And then I wrap the toes, toe wire into that. So these are actually a little bit long. I'm gonna cut about, well, let's see, how, how can I show this? We want from his elbow to the end of his palm to be a little less than two inches. So I'm going to cut about a half an inch off here. And then I'm going to bend these around. Like that. I don't make too big of a loop because I just don't want it to get too, um, too bulky. And then we have to bend his feet. I, like I said, I'm not doing toes on the feet, so I'm just going to bend them to a length that in includes his toes. This one's a little, there we go. Okay. So next I would use the 26 gauge wire to wrap 
um, the fingers and I just go down. I start um, up near the elbow and just go down the arm and then I usually feed the wire through one time before I start making making toes. So now it's in a good position to make the first toe. Somewhere between a quarter and a half an inch. If they're too short, they're going to look stubby and you're going to have a hard time winding um, the wool around it. So I do four little toes, each one weaving through the center, and then any remaining wire, oops, that kind of got, there we go. Any remaining wire I wrap up the arm in the same direction that the um, initial wire was going. So I'll do the second side. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we got the toes on, and I just use this as the, I consider these arms um, covered. I don't do any pipe cleaner on here. But I do want some pipe cleaner on the back legs. So I'm gonna fold one in half, find the center, put it on the back, and just loosely wrap down the legs. Sometimes I straighten them out a little bit. And as usual, make sure you have enough just to fold over the end of the toe. This chipmunk has long back legs. I think he has kind of a short back and long back legs. Because I usually have plenty of pipe cleaner and this is a little tight. That's okay. It's okay if they're different, but he definitely does have a kind of short back. There we go. Give him as much back as possible. And then I take one and I leave it about almost two inches sticking off of his butt and wrap forward. When I get to the chest, I just come up between the front legs. I don't wrap the shoulders or anything. And then just continue down the head and then fold back over the nose, over the tip of the wire. And then we want to take one more and come from the center of the body back, give it a couple of wraps. And this time I'm coming under between the legs. This one's coming over. This one's coming under. And then if I twist them together, that gives me a nice centered tail. And then you can decide how long you want the tail to be um, by just folding the pipe cleaner. I, usually, I make it at least as long as their body, sometimes a little bit longer, and give it a twist. And now we have a chipmunk armature. So the next thing we're going to do is begin wrapping um, the toes and the legs and feet. That's how I that's how I start. Um, these guys I did I used the off white wool to wrap the fingers, but I decided that I liked it better um, using the tan. But you could you could do either way. This one has tan fingers. Oh, we could do a whole synchronized swimming skit. Remember oh, that, uh, that get less. That I'm excited. You said that because oh. chipmunks are excellent swimmers. Oh, I didn't know that. It's another fact. <laughs> All right, so we're ready to start wrapping. I am warming up my beeswax. And I think we have time to get into a little bit of this. I like using, um, this is like a core tan. It's a little bit fuzzier. And you have about a half an ounce of this in your supply pack. 
Um, I think it's easier to work with than, this is a top coat, we call it sandstone. Um, the fibers are longer, and so when you're doing tiny little things, it's just not as easy um, to get the right amount that you need because if you have too much and you try to pull it off, the fibers are so long, it won't pull. But the choice is yours, um, what color you want to wrap the toes. And then this is the off-white, um, which is mostly your core, but uh, like I said, I used it to do the toes on this one. And I really do like working with it. But I think in terms of uh, color, this is a better, um, better color. So for the toes, I take the smallest amount. I'm going to pull some off just a little bit and split it in half and um, really even work it longer and skinnier. Can you see how thin that is? I don't know if it sh shows up. Well I, I think so. It harder. hardly looks like any. Yeah, it's very little. I think that's one of the biggest problems people have is um, just using too much wool on these toes, and that gets okay. really frustrating. I am super zooming. Okay, super oh. zoom. Tough to do with <laughs> dog paws. <laughs> okay. And then um, there is other videos on this, so I'm not going to go too crazy here, but I start by going around the hand just to anchor it. And then I kind of pick which toe I'm going to work on. And now look how long this has become. From that little piece that I pulled off, just keeping it skinny has made it, drafting it out has made it that long. So before I get to the end, I leave the wire and I take some wax and I put it on the end of the toe. This is hot. Um, and then I want to work a little bit too much. I want to work the wool into that, and that is what really holds it on and seals it down. Now I've got this wool so thin that I can actually go back, and I can continue actually with another toe, um, just because I've got this so skinny. So I'm going to do this one. Now it's almost too skinny. Let me pull it off. And start again. Kind of get it going here. Okay. And then put the wax on. and then work the wool into the wax. And I'm just going to take some of this extra off. Okay, and you've got to do all 8 to 16 toes that way. And I'll meet you back here. Okay, I went to my fact sheet uh -oh. and I just wanted to tell you, okay. as realistic as you are with your animals, uh, chipmunks have four toes on their back feet uh -huh. and five on their front. That's... If you were to get a real chipmunk and hold him down Shh, and count his toes, that that would be it. So, you well, know, well done with the toes and all, but I just, just had to be real here. Well, I only put four toes on anything I make, whether it's people's hands. So, kind, kind of weird. I I'd like to point out I have just like a not much of a paw <laughs> it's I'm lazy that's what it is I don't like wrapping these toes and so instead of five I do four well whatever saves you some time <laughs> so I wrapped each toe and now I want to um, just go around the hand and make sure that I've got a nice evenly wrapped what's, what's here now is just leftovers from all the toe ends. So I just want to go around and make sure that's nice and even. So I'm taking another relatively thin piece and I'm just go, going around each palm. Oh, starting at the forearm, I guess. And this is probably even too much. That's it. I'm going to pull some extra off. Smooth this out. 
give it a little stab. And hit the next one. Oops. So would this be a bad time for me to take a nap? <laughs> you can take a nap. I'll tell you when you need to do something. I can stab you to wake you back up. Oh, God. That's terrible. I wouldn't do that. I'm ready for a nap. It's very kind of weird today. It's sort of gray and dull, and it's been this way for two days, and it's definitely making me sleepy. Okay, we need to do the legs and the arms. Let's do the legs. Let's just move on. I'm going to pull about a five inch piece and break it in half lengthwise, still using the tan. <laughs> uh, you don't feed me. <laughs> what can I say? <laughs> My little stomach is growling in case you couldn't hear that. Um, I like to go around the body once just to give myself something to anchor onto and then I'm going to wrap down the leg tightly, smoothly and I want to keep this on the thin side don't want to build up too much here just going to pull that extra bit off. Is my head in the way? No. How about now? Yeah, well, your, your <laughs> nose. Got a good nose shot. My nose. <laughs> Other side. As I wrap, I keep it smooth. I I use both hands to continue pulling it tightly. I draft it out to make sure it's staying tight and smooth and even and not getting a big bulky fuzz. And then if you do all of that, you really don't even have to needle felt it. You can but it usually stays. And then let's just hit the um, the tops of the arms here. So I'm going to take about a four inch piece and split it in half lengthwise. And hold it with my thumb at the top. And I'm concentrating most of it here and then going down the arm to meet up with what we have wrapped already. Got a stick in my wool. And I don't want these to get too fat, so I'm actually gonna pull some of this off so it stays nice and skinny. Uh, I prefer a fat chipmunk myself. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta keep my eye on you, Milo, and make sure I don't lose any. I haven't, I haven't said anything about them being delicious. Once again, <laughs> little scurrying delicious thing you got to make. You don't mess with the rabbits, my rabbits, too much. My real life rabbits. Not, not that you know. <laughs> we have an agreement. Good. Excellent. Now we need to wrap, start wrapping the body. Let's see where we are on time. Alrighty. So we made our armature and we got the legs and toes wrapped. That's pretty good progress. Um, next we're going to just start building up. We should get all the way through this stage, maybe even a little farther next time. This is like the embryo stage. Do you have any embryo jokes? 
Uh, I could look one up. I wanted to say how much I like our new space. Yes, we're going to, um, you're going to host a tour of the space eventually. Awesome. It's not looking, uh, it looks, still looks a little shabby. We still have tools out and, you know, stuff's not put away. So, we'll get there. Yeah. Right? Yes. All right, we'll see you next time. Bye.